hello everyone so we have been given this question in which this tells us to find the total harmonic distortion present at the output if at the input we are applying some small signal voltage of 0.25 sin omega t okay so we have been given this circuit so the circuit seems to be in saturation as we have been given a bias voltage for which this current uh, uh, the mos will be in saturation right so also it has given that the threshold voltage is 0.7 volts for this mosfet so how should we proceed on this question first what we should uh, know is what is the current equation for the mosfet in saturation region so the current equation is something like this right which is mu n cox w upon 2l into vgs minus vt whole square so let's first like use this equation what is vgs in our case so vgs in our case is basically the v in right as the source is sorted so it's basically the v in so like what is v in v in is some bias voltage plus some ac component right because bias voltage is given 1 volts but there is some ac component which is 0.25 which is the signal that we want to amplify right so this is the ac component now we can also rewrite the equation of id as like id equals to k n dash vgs minus vt whole square like k n dash is equals to basically mu 1 cox w upon 12 okay so here first let us calculate the bias current what is the dc level of the current right when no small signal voltage is applied what are we getting at the output what is the dc level of the output voltage so id b equals to k n dash upon like this vb vb in our case is basically one volt right so one minus 0 0.7 vt is 0 0.7 whole square so this comes out to be 0 0.09 k n dash now if i write a k wheel equation in this output uh, like uh, node right in this output node what is the k wheel equation k wheel equation is something like this it's basically 10 minus v naught by 1 kilo ohm equals to id right if you write the kcl equation so uh, so how now let's calculate 10 minus v naught equals to 10 cube times 0 0.09 kn dash right this is the id value so here vo of quotient equals to 90 kn dash right 10 minus this so v of quotient equals to 10 minus 90 k n dash so this is the v of quotient now let's calculate it while we have one small signal ac signal applied through the input now how the output current would look like when a small signal voltage is applied so let's take the small signal voltage as vac right so if vac is the small signal voltage how the output current would look like the output current id will be equals to k n dash times 1 plus vac 1 is the dc voltage minus 0 0.7 whole square which comes out to be k n dash 0 0.09 plus 0 0.6 vac plus vac whole square so vac in our case is 0 0.25 sin omega t okay now here this is the id right so what is the vo vo is basically 10 minus vo divided by 1 kilo equals to id right so if i like rewrite the equation vo will be sum of vo q which is the quotient point plus vo ac right which is the small signal ac output so if we subtract these two equations vo ac will come out to be something 10 cube times k n dash v in square plus 0 0.6 v in basically we know v o q we have already found it out here v o q is already found it out we, if we subtract this in this equation right we find the overall v o overall v o is this so what is v o a c v o a c will basically be the subtraction of v o minus v o q right so that's how we are finding this voac now what is total harmonic distortion total harmonic distortion is basically given as the definition is 
something v2 square plus v3 square plus v4 square dot dot dot, dot divided by v1 square right so what are these components this v1 is the rms value of the fundamental component of the input right this v1 and this v2 v3 v4 are the third fourth fifth harmonics of the input right this is the third fourth fifth harmonics of the input so this is the total harmonic distortion formula so here we have to see what harmonics are present at the output right of the output voltage here if i like calculate v in v in is the fundamental component right? v in is 0.25 sin omega t now what is v in square v in square is basically 0.25 whole square sin square omega t right so what is like how can we write sin square omega t sin square omega t is basically 0.25 whole square divided by 2 into 1 minus cos 2 omega t right this is how we can write like uh, this uh, v in square so here so what is the harmonic second harmonic present only we have second harmonic present so what is the second harmonic present second harmonic is basically minus 0 0.25 whole square divided by 2 cos 2 omega t right now what is the rms value of this the rms value v2 rms equals to the magnitude of this right 0 0.25 whole square divided by 2 root 2 and what is v1 rms v1 is basically equals to this v in right so v1 rms is equals to 0 0.25 divided by root 2 so now what we need to do is also we have one like uh, 0.6 v1 rms is actually 0.6 because we have in this equation right this equation we have 0 0.6 into v in right this is the fundamental component 0 0.6 into v in and this is the harmonic component so if this is the uh, like uh, the fundamental component then we have to also multiply 0 0.6 so here i have written it wrong this is 0 0.6 times v in right as we we are getting v1 is 0 0.6 times v in this is the fundamental component okay so now we just need to take the ratios okay we are ignoring the like dc values are not the harmonics here in this equation if you say d, we, this is the dc value dc value is not a harmonic right so only this second harmonic is the harmonic so we will consider this now if i put this in the thd equation right so the thd equation will look something like this 0 0.25 whole square divided by 2 root 2 divided by 0 0.25 divided root 2 into 0.6 this will be equals to something we will get around something 4 5 uh, Eight, something like this right we'll get something around this now if you want to calculate this in dbs the total harmonic distortion in dbs will be equals to minus 6.81 db how am i calculating things basically this is 20 log times 0 0.458 right log base 10 so that's how this value comes up so this is the answer thank you if this video helped you guys clearing your concepts then please do like the video